Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this evening update. I hope that you have been enjoying today thus far. It is the start of a brand new week. And so we will be taking a look at the latest for the Caribbean and surrounding areas. We'll also be looking at Calvin, which has recently been downgraded to a tropical storm and uh, could pose a threat, uh, likely to pose a threat to the Hawaiian Islands. And then there is the potential for seeing something coming from the main development region, potentially affecting the Caribbean, Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, as we're going to be heading into next week. So we will be looking at the potential of that happening. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, so we want to start out with Calvin. So we're looking into the central Pacific right now and we can see here that there is the tiny cyclone over to the right side of your screen and we see more of those colors over to the eastern side of the cyclone. So that is where majority of the activity is found. Nonetheless, it is a strong tropical storm, but it will continue to weaken as time goes by. So uh, going on to the latest cone forecast as of when I'm making this video. So by the time this video would have been posted, uh, the new updates would be out so i'll let you guys know what that is in the comments down below uh and likely there will be a tropical storm watch issued especially for the big island of hawaii and so uh as i said the winds are 70 miles per hour now and it is accelerating to the west northwest at 16 miles per hour so as we're going to be heading into tuesday there is a pretty good chance that there is going to be a uh, tropical storm conditions across some areas talking about those tropical storm force winds as well as uh, some of that storm storm surge and even heavy rainfall as well and these conditions can be very very dangerous and so if you're in Hawaii stay tuned uh, I will be keeping you guys posted as time goes by and then uh, eventually it should be downgraded to a post tropical cyclone by the latter part of this week and so let's now go over into the Atlantic Basin and there we can see dawn up to the north uh, which is now a subtropical depression so it is just loitering out there nothing much has changed uh, aside from it being downgraded to a depression so uh, it will be looping around out there in the open north atlantic and once it starts making a, a track more to the south it should encounter some warmer waters and could possibly try to re-intensify into a subtropical storm but uh, it is not a threat to land off the east coast and along some states we see some thunderstorm activity also across some spots in the caribbean and northern south america and there's that tropical wave uh some that activity in association with a tropical wave another should emerge off Africa in the coming days, which could potentially develop. So we will go on to that potential development later down in this video. But let us zoom into the Caribbean. But uh, we're starting out with Northern South America, and we can see that this afternoon there is some shower and thunderstorm activity developing across some areas, parts of Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, even going over into French Guiana as well. And then looking in the Windward Islands and Barbados, we also see some activity developing. So just as I stated this morning, where there would be the potential for these afternoon showers and thunderstorms that is exactly what we're seeing things in the clear for trinidad tobago also go into the abc as there isn't much happening let's head further up to the north and here we can see that there is some more activity across some other spots and as we look into the rest of the lesser antilles for some persons it might be sunny and windy and also hazy for others it might be rainy overcast so let me know what is happening in your area going to the virgin islands puerto rico also a bit of activity we see some thunderstorms over in western puerto rico also four parts of the dominican republic and haiti going to jamaica similar story as there is some shower and thunderstorm activity developing across some areas so let me know what is happening for you but for most of us it has been a pretty hot day over into the western caribbean now the southwestern caribbean there is lots of showers and thunderstorms over there uh close to the care along the caribbean coast of nicaragua costa rica and panama so likely inducing a lot of that heavy rainfall as was forecast this morning and uh maybe even some flooding across some areas so i hope that everyone is doing okay heading further up uh there is a lot of cloud cover possibly with some rainfall for some other areas for the northern yucatan things are looking to be pretty dry similar story for the cayman islands and most of cuba as well as uh some spots in the bahamas and turks and caicos islands so that is what is happening this this afternoon in terms of the latest for the saharan air layer map here we can see that there is that next plume of dust that is uh, making its way toward the west some dust still noted in some spots in the caribbean and uh, there is that activity in association with the tropical wave another should be making its way off the coast of africa and uh, this dust and all this dry air that is induced is going to be a problem for these waves because uh, the dry air it really helps to stabilize weather conditions and prevent major intensification or development of thunderstorms 
So this is a huge inhibiting factor when it comes on to tropical cyclones. And it is really going to be these waves versus the dust. So let's see what's going to be happening. And now we want to go on to what the ensemble members for both GFS and Euro are expecting. And we are starting out with Euro. So this goes out to the, uh, to the latter part of this week, Friday the 21st of the month. And uh, we have these different L's and these lines that are seen. Those are different members. And uh, there we have them showing Don lingering out. So they're not a threat to land, as I said. And uh, there we have that new cluster just in the vicinity of the Cabo Verde Islands. And uh, based on the color of the line, that is how we know the intensity. So when it gets to a darker blue, that is indicating tropical storm force winds. And it gets stronger as we head to the shade of green, yellow, orange. Uh, that orange shade indicating around 17 knots, which goes up to around 80 miles per hour. So uh, that represents the intensity of a hurricane. So by this time here, we see that the members are picking up on that next wave to emerge off Africa. Not the one that is currently there, uh, but the other that is expected to emerge in the coming days, uh, trying to get itself together around that time. However, as we head further out in time, going 10 days from now, which is uh, up to Wednesday of next week, the 26th of July, we're seeing that uh, a lot of these members are expecting that there is going to be some intensification uh, of the system into a tropical storm, but notice just how dispersed they are. Some of them taking it into the Caribbean, close to the Caribbean, up to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, out there just uh, uh, in the open Atlantic. So uh, there are many possibilities on the table right now, and there isn't even a guarantee that something will develop. But we also see that many members uh, drop off once the system continues to make its way across the tropical Atlantic, because again, there is all that dry air and dust, and that is a huge inhibiting factor. So that can very well inhibit any intensification. But is uh, GFS in agreement with this? Are the GFS ensemble members expecting this? So as we head out to Friday, there we had them showing down, loitering out there by itself, not being a problem for anyone. And then off the coast of Africa, heading to the vicinity of the Cabo Verde Islands, there we have all these members, a lot more members actually, expecting that we're going to be seeing something. Some of these showing development as soon as the wave emerges from Africa, but I doubt that right now. Uh, but as it is going to be making its way to the west, heading further out in time, again, many members dropping off, uh, showing that likely there's going to be more hostility up ahead, which would inhibit it from developing into something more. But the members that do go out uh, to this time here, going to next Wednesday, are expecting that it will be uh, a problem for the Caribbean. Many of them showing that it is going to be entering the region, but overall, not a whole lot of members expecting this. So as I said, we are, uh, we are going very far out in time. So there are many possibilities on the table. And so guys, that is why my channel is here to keep you updated ahead of time. And regardless of seeing something or not, now should be the time of preparedness because we will be heading into August and September when we will start to see uh, a ramp up in all of the activity across the tropical Atlantic. And so nothing is solid, but if we should have something develop, it is likely that the NHC will highlight a new area as we head to maybe the mid to latter parts of this week. So I will keep you posted as per usual. And that is pretty much it for right now. And so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will respond once I get the chance. And as always, remember to be weatherwise.